Hey church, Pastor Josh here. I hope you're doing well today. I'm here to bring you just another informational video about what's going on at Crossroads as we continue to try to open back up, try to get back into the swing of things on the other side of this pandemic. You know, uh, we had an awesome Sunday this past Sunday at Crossroads Orville uh, out at Kingsway. We met together. We had a bunch of people come and join in with us to worship. Uh, it was a great time. The kids were in the service and we loved that. We loved the fact that you guys were there with us. Uh, I want to say this, Oh, just right off the bat, as a part of our informational thing, we want you, even if you have kids, to come to the service. Listen, we know they're gonna be noisy. We know they're gonna wanna have things to do. And so we have several solutions for that. Number one, about the noise, we don't care. Bring your kids anyways. And here's what I would say to that. Kids are a sign of a living church. So you bring those kids on out. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna worship together. It's gonna be a great time. We want them to be there with us. Now, when you bring your kids, we're gonna give you a table. It's gonna be set up. It's gonna have stuff on it for the kids to do. But we would encourage you, if you wanna bring more toys, you wanna bring things for them to play with, if you wanna bring snack foods, bring snack foods. We'd love for you to do that. Bring anything you want to bring to keep your kids kind of entertained and happy while they're in there and stuff. But you just feel free to bring it on in. We'd love to have that stuff there. For you guys, for the adults, uh, we don't have a cafe set up right now for obvious reasons. And so since we're not doing a cafe, we're just gonna encourage you each week, bring your own coffee, bring something to drink, maybe a bottle of water, some juice, whatever you want. Bring those things with you so that you can have the things that you want during the service as well. F feel free to bring breakfast items if you wanna bring breakfast items, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the next thing I wanna mention to you is this. We are constantly having conversations in the staff meetings that we're doing about Kids City and opening it back up in the future. Now we're not quite ready to do that yet just because of a lot of different regulations and stuff that are out there. We want to make sure that we take the, the appropriate steps and slowly open them back up so that the kids can start going to their own areas again in the future. But it's going to be a slow process. So just hang in there with us. Bring the kids to the service. Listen, last week we did a song for the kids. We had motions for it. I tried to speak to the kids during the message and everything. I think your kids will actually enjoy being in service with us. And I think it's a great opportunity for them to see that as adults, we do the same types of things that they do. Just maybe in a different way. So make sure your kids come to church with you. The next thing is going to be this upcoming Sunday. Uh, it's going to be an amazing Sunday. We're diving into our second week of our lettuce series. Now, every time we say that, I think of lettuce. Don't bring bacon and tomatoes with you, okay? It's not that kind of lettuce. Let us. It's the things we need to be doing as a church is what we're going to be talking about. And so as we get into it, it's really cool. Like speaking of food, we're going to kind of lead into it this week. This week's message is going to be based on the statement of let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity. He's going to be talking about the idea of moving from spiritual milk to spiritual meat. And it's going to be a great, great, great sermon for us to dive into, for us to talk about how do we move deeper in our relationships with Christ, move beyond just eating spiritual milk and get to the really heavy stuff that we need to be learning in order to continue our relationships with Him. So make sure you're there this Sunday. If you can make it out, listen, we know, and I said this before, I know there are many of you that are still worried about coming back into public spaces, about being in worship with us, and that is okay. We are going to continue to live stream for you so that you can watch it from home. And when you're ready, when things are good in your life for you to be able to come back, then you come back to church and join in with us. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you on Sunday or see you online.